Hi, thanks for joining me today. I'm just going to show you how to make a little posty holder, just a little sticky notes, using a fast, a fun and fast um, stamp set, and just a little pen in there as well. The, post, the size of the stickies that I've used are 3 inch by 3 inch, so these sizes that I'm quoting are for that, but you can be, alter them to fit any sized um, notes that you want to. Just starting with So Saffron, and the size that I'm using is 7 inches and 5 eighths, and 3 and a half just on the short side. What I'm going to do is start by, I'm going to use my trimmer, but just to use it to, with a bone folder and do the scoring. I'm going to score at 3 and 5 eighths. So here we go, 3 and 5 eighths. It's my first score mark. Second is 4 inches. So I'm 4 inches. And then 4 and 3 eighths. There we go. Take that out. I'm done with my trimmer now. Okay, what I'm going to do is just on the four inch score mark, so the centre one, just fold that over, fold it in half and then open it out again. I'm then going to use the two outer score marks and fold it back on itself, so just in the opposite direction. And then a firm press and then open it out and then fold over and then the second one just fold back as well. So the, the two outer ones are folded in the opposite direction so you actually have a little mountain fold created there and do is actually using that fold okay flip it over you've got the short edge facing you I'm going to take the little pen pop it up just as a quick guide and I'll make two little snips just from the fold down to the um, second fold lines so I'm just snip all the way down there we go. Okay. Take the pen away and open it out and we can actually fold that section out. I don't know if you can see that. It's actually going to hold your pens. Right, what I'm going to do is open it out. I'm going to add a little bit of tape onto this. I'm going to use this super sticky tape. And I find it easier just popping it on from the cut that we've made. Coming out to the edge. Sorry, hand on my and snip, in. snip it over and do the same and you're not popping the tape over your cut out section because you want that to fold in the opposite direction okay right with that done just going to remove the red back always really static get it stuck everywhere there we go okay just going to fold that over Stick down the two edges and pop up the crease. Comes up. There we go. And that is where your pen's going to go. So I'll pop that in there to keep it safe. So we've created the little pad. We can now add our sticky posties on here. What I'll do is pick up the posties. I've already added the sticky tape onto the back here. So again, just going to pop off the back. Super sticky. Now take off the last layer. The amount of adhesive you use is up to you. I always go a little bit over the top because I don't want them falling apart. Just checking which way they flip. And then actually going to stick that right up to the fold and in the centre. Press that down. So that's the actual pad and the case all put together. What we're going to do now is do the layers. First that I'm going to use, I'm using confetti white, it might be a little bit hard to see there, but this is actually trimmed um, for two and a half by two and a quarter inches and I'm actually going to use the little um, hedgehog from the Fun of Fast Notes and that says thanks for sharing you with me. Okay, and using close to cocoa ink pads, just the classic ink pad, open that up. Ink up the pad. I'm going to have to stamp facing me so I can line it up. There we go. That's 
into that little hedgehog there or where I did him. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the blender pen, stand for that blender pen. I'm actually just going to blend a little of that close to Toko, just drawing it out just to colour his face slightly. I don't want to change the colour of the whole hedgehog. There we go, just add a little bit of colour there. Okay, and I'm also going to use the marker pens just to add an extra bit of colour. So I'm using Regal Rose just to colour the body of the butterfly in his nose. It's a little cute butterfly. And I am using around the opulent orchid, orchid opulence, just to actually colour in the butterfly itself. There we go. Okay, just going to use my snail adhesive on the back of my hedgehog. Okay. I'm going to map that onto a so saffron layer. And that is, I've already cut that, and that's two and three quarters by two and a half. Just layer that one up there. Okay, again, using a little bit of snail on the back. And I'm going to mat that onto certain celery. And that mat is actually three inches by two and three quarters. Line them up there. Okay, that's all cute. That's what we're going to do. Again, using snail adhesive. Okay, and I'm going to add that right on top of the pad. There we go. So, just a cute little gift. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.